Let me tell you what, I got some tea for you guys in this video. We're going to be learning how we can direct standard output, standard error to a file, but also direct it to the terminal. So that's what the T command does inside of Linux. So let's go through a few examples of how to use this command. Let's say we have some command, doesn't really matter what it is, where we list a bunch of files. And what we do is we add to this a pipe and then the command T, which takes a file. So we'll say output and we'll say .txt. And just to be clear, this is whatever you want it to be. I just add in the .txt here just so you guys don't get it confused with a command called output or something like that. Because this might be a little bit more confusing, but whatever. You can name it whatever you want. You can call it tacos, it doesn't matter. When we hit enter here, it's going to put all of the files inside of the terminal one line after the other. However, if you now take a look at the output.txt file we created, it also has that content in the file. So this is useful if you want to output stuff in the terminal for maybe an interactive experience or for you to watch, but you also want to log that information to a file. That's where the T command comes in. And the reason it's called T is if you think of a T, basically you have an input and it splits that two different directions, one to a file, one to the terminal. So going off of the Wikipedia article on the T command, here is a beautiful visual that explains this. We have, oh, I guess the T direction is different here. Sorry, I'm not really a plumber, so I don't know how these, this bit, suppo supposedly is based off the T splitter used in plumbing. So this guy right here. So basically we have an input and we have a file and then the terminal or the input of another command. They're using another pipe here, so that's why it says standard input. It's going as standard input into the less command. And we could do that same exact thing if we wanted. If we repeat this command and we pipe it to the less command, now we can see the output of what would go in the terminal, but it's in this nice, convenient, less program. Awesome. So to make sure that's clear, we issue a command. It goes to a file, but it also goes to another destination, either the terminal, or if you pipe it to less, then it'll go in as the input to the less command for you to view. Or you could use it for some other command as well. Now when it comes to appending, if you're coming from redirection, you might just add another operator. So for example, if you say ls and you direct this to output.txt, if you want to append, you can just add another greater than sign. Well, pipes don't work that way. So what I mean is you can't just have a pipe t and output.txt and if you want it to append to the file instead of overwriting it, you can't just add a second pipe here. That's actually something different which we might talk about in the next video. So instead what you need to do is you actually need to use the append option which comes with the t command which is hyphen a. So in this situation when we take a look at output.txt you can see it actually appended those documents to that list. Whereas if you instead were to not use the hyphen A, it's going to replace everything. And you see that there. All right, now let's clear the screen and go through another example. I wanna show you another example, but first I wanna compare it to a previous example where we would have a command ls and we would put it into some file such as output and we could take standard output and standard error by saying, two greater than ampersand one, which we learned about in a previous episode. So pretty much, no matter what, this is going to take the output and put it in that file, even if that directory doesn't exist. So we can take a look at that file, cat output, and you can see that's the error it gave. When we're dealing with standard output and standard error, and you want to use T, it's a little bit different because by default, T only works with standard output. So if we said ls tacos and we said piped it to T output, well, we get an error and the error shows up in the terminal. It doesn't go into this output file. So the fix for this is right after the ls, we're going to redirect to greater than ampersand one and then pipe that to T. And now it shows up in the terminal and it should show up in output. 
Or if you're in a fairly recent version of Bash, you can say something like LS tacos, pipe, and sign, T, output, and that'll do it. So yeah, that's a little complicated, but let's see what it looks like when we compare to that table we looked at earlier. In this table, we've talked about these in earlier videos, then we introduced T. Not so bad, but the issue here is that standard error does not show up in the file, as you can see by these two no's here. That newer version that we talked about, pipe ampersand, well, that's going to include standard error in the file. So we've talked about all of these, and this one down here, the only one we haven't talked about is this here, which the only difference is that standard output doesn't show up in the file and standard error does, which takes a little bit more effort and you can see uh, a good solution here, which looks like this. But we're not gonna do a dedicated video for that, so we're gonna stop there. At this point, we've obnoxiously talked about redirecting and piping for pretty much every option for standard output and standard error. So I apologize if this has been like so much about one thing for the last 10 videos, but we've learned a lot of different things. There is a lot of different syntax to remember and even I find myself mixing it up or having a reference, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world as long as you understand the concepts and you know how to figure it out. That's my justification for not having everything memorized. <laughs> no, but thank you for watching. If you do want to see more, then stay tuned for the upcoming episode. Be sure to like and subscribe. We really appreciate you joining us for this journey.